Hello guys, welcome back to iPhone and iPad app development tutorials. Uh, in the last lesson we learned uh, how to add interactivities slightly. Um, what we did is we learned text fields and we learned um, the slider. Today what we're going to do is we will, uh, we will, we will basically uh, learn about adding a switch onto our application. Now switch is one of the most commonly used objects in, in apps. Um, like in any household you have a switch that turns on and off and then um, you know the, the colors that we mostly rel relate to switches are if it is on it is green if it is off it is red so what we would do is we would make an app where we would put a switch and if the switch is turned on we would show the color as green and if it is turned off we would show, show the color as uh, red to do this what we would do is open um, we would open our uh, uh, existing app that we were building so let's go back to Xcode go to y app, YT app we would open the existing app now what we need to do is first of all we would need to go to the view controller now if you remember this is how our app looked uh, lost now what we need to do is we need to open the tools library sorry tools library and from the library first thing that we would do is put a label now for some of you, you might be thinking why do we need a label this is where we show the color you know we would basically be showing the color as red or green here um, so I'd remove the text and then what I would do is uh, I would need a switch so I would bring the switch over here all right I'm not sure if that is in line with uh, with the rest of it but anyways this is for experiment now we don't need the library anymore so it's best to close it Okay, so we put two more objects on our um, on our view window. So obviously we need to tell Mr. IB Outlet that we've got two new members in our family. So we tell Mr. IB Outlet that we've got a UI switch and we want to call it say Ruby switch colon. And we will also tell Mr. IB Outlet that we have another member called UI label and we want to call him say switch SWITCH label and co uh, sorry semicolon now obviously we need one more action here so and that is when the switch is turned on and off so what we would do is we would tell IB action and we would tell when switch is changed for example um, yep yeah. and then like always this is where we just define the uh, action but the actual action will take place in the dot m file so we copy this command C go to the m file go to the bottom below the bracket command V open the curly bracket now what we want here is a logical uh, action so if it is on it should be green if it is off it should be red so we write if the moment you write if you would see that it comes up with you know the syntax so obviously we would start the uh, bracket and write ruby switch dot on what this means is if ruby switch is on what is it that we want the switch to do um, obviously we will start another curly bracket now because it's a it's a you know it's a condition it's a logical condition so we would write switch label SWITCH label dot background color okay now remember you must use the uh, capital C when writing background color because otherwise it may give errors sometimes it acts funny though it should ideally accept it so what we would do is let's let's go ahead and do a small c um, and we will and mo most most likely I'm sure I would get an error but we would see if if we get an error okay so we s what we have basically done here is we've told the action that if Ruby switch is on then the switch label background color should be equal to and then we open UI UI color all right the moment you write UI CEO you would see that the syntax com comes up should be GRE green color we close the bracket put a semicolon and also close the curly bracket now 
if you see for every curly bracket that you open you have to have a closing curly bracket now the first condition is done now what we need is say if it is not on so what should happen when it's not on so we'll write else and the condition else uh, and the condition since we are starting a condition we would write the curly bracket now again we, what we would write here is switch label which is the label which would show the colors dot background color now remember the spelling of c o l o the spelling of color is c o l o r and not c o l o u r again like i said sometimes it's funny we would try with both but i know for sure that you know c o l o u r may give error um, and we would say u i color should be red color and then we close the columns and we also need to close the curly bracket now the moment you close a curly bracket it will show you which one it is closed so for the ones who are smart we know that there's one more which is open and which was this one so we needed to close that as well what we would do now is save it we would save this file command s we would also save the header file command s and now what we would need to do is for once we would minimize this um, obviously you you remember the drill we need to tell mr. inspector about the new people that we have in the family so we go to tools inspector and then we click on file owner you would see that switch ruby switch has come up there and switch label has come up there so we need to tell mr. inspector that this is the ruby switch and we also need to tell the mr. inspector that this is the switch label now obviously there's one more action that we have defined which is when switch is changed so who's going to do that work obviously the switch and we select value changed now what we would do is save this again with the switch if you see the default is on you can always change the default to off um, so let's change the default to off and leave it like this save it close the inspector close the view window close this one as well go to Xcode and say build and run Ooh, it says two errors here failed now we would click on that and as I thought it is the capital C so what we would do is uh, we would make this change this to a capital C and say save command s and then build and run again it works it's funny sometimes uh, you know they made it more like the US but um, you know the spellings etc and capitalization but anyways it, it doesn't matter as long as you know the syntax it should work so what we're gonna do is test it now whether it works or not we press on it is green we press off it is red hooray that's what we wanted to do isn't it in the next lesson guys um, I would teach you something more uh, exciting why I wanted to t uh, teach you this is so that you know how to add uh, interactivity interactivity between two objects within the app um, I know this is not a great thing to know uh, but again if you're working on any app that needs an on and off button you can't live without knowing this I would suggest that you practice this on your machine and um, if possible load a video and let me see how you do it um, yeah we will s we will meet each other in the next lesson if you like my videos please subscribe and if you have any questions or any queries or if you need any codes from me uh, please just write a comment and I would be more than happy to provide you uh, don't remember to um, sorry don't forget to um, subscribe and remember you if you like the videos then please click the like button as well Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you again in the next lesson. Cheers.